Hi, Alan Glasby from Kestrel Business Assist here today. I'm talking to David Zeck from Wurimbi Milling. Wurimbi Milling takes the abundant waste from macadamia production and turns it into stock feed. Hi David. How you going? Good. Now you have a, a beautifully simple solution uh, with this company, but I know you've had to be particularly tenacious to get to where you are today. Could you tell us about it? Uh, yeah, Alan, we started this company in 2008. Um, I'd come out of agribusiness, out of cattle feeding, intensive cattle feeding, um, and I kind of had an idea, I thought that cheap grain was finished, we were totally dependent on cheap grain, and I remember in 2007 when corn hit 600 bucks a tonne, and I thought, man, there's got to be something different, you know, so I'd always been, my father has a macadamia farm at Nambucca Heads, and I used to come over, I'd spent a lot of years in America, but we used to come over and I'd see the waste that uh, he was throwing out and I always thought well, this will be something we can do with that. So in 2008 we, we left the security of a pretty high paying job, we didn't have a lot of money, had a couple of kids and a wife and we moved to Nambucca Heads and we, we put every, we just punted everything we had to build this business. Um, you had had some naysayers at that stage too, oh, telling you you're mad? Plenty of naysayers mate, they, they, they told us, they said oh well, first of all, they said you can't mill it. Well, you know, all those years in feedlots, I've milled about everything there is to mill, so I knew that wasn't right. And then they told me, oh, well, you can't, you can't get the product. You'll never get the product. Um, you know, that's proved not to be the case. We've been fairly, fairly successful at, at gathering the product that we need. And then the third thing was they said, oh, you'll never be able to sell it. So. You know, we, we were copping it from, <laughs> from yeah. every direction, yeah. So this, the marketing is the second second problem you had? I mean, well, you were... I, I remember I remember lying in bed. I'm a big visual, I'm a visualisation guy. And I, I remember going somewhere one time and they said to me, oh, if you visualise it, it'll happen. Well, I visualised, I used to lie in bed at night and I visualised semi-loads of reject nut coming into the business. But in there, I forgot to visualise semi loads of macadamia <laughs> meal going out and uh, it didn't take me very long to realize we had a lot coming in and not a lot going out so this was a product that had never been available before so I had to basically I had to market create a market for a brand new product a brand, and, and stock foods expensive and uh, it, it's a super competitive game and it's a very conservative game and so I, I was persistent, I just would beat the weeds and beat the weeds and if a bloke even, if I even had a hint that he would maybe take a load I just would keep on him you know and eventually a few of them weakened um, and uh, you know we've, we've, we've been going pretty well and ever since. And they're happy with the product obviously? Oh yeah it's, it's, a, it's a good product, it's, a, it's an energy based product um, and now we've just moved into a fibre based product because um, fibres you know it's, it's got a lot of fibre in it as well but so we basically have two products now. Um, and and we, but we always have to keep working all the time. We yep. try and keep finding you. I mean, you're obviously a very practical person, but the sustainability of this solution you've got is, is brilliant, isn't it? Well, they were throwing it in the gully, Alan. Yeah. You know, they were throwing it away, and and so what we had to do was to to coax the product out of them because to coax out the waste out of them, we had to make it really simple because there's people. People are funny. People would rather throw something away than make 50 bucks for it by going a mile down the road. So what we did, we set up, we had to set up collection points. So we set collection points up in strategic areas all through the macadamia growing area. And the macadamia growing area, by the way, is Bundaberg to Maxwell. So yeah. that's a fairly big area. Uh, we had trucks, we had trucks running around picking stuff up. And so we made it simple. We didn't pay them much for it, but we made it simple. And actually, we provided them with a service because it was getting harder and harder to burn it. They weren't allowed to burn it, and it's getting harder and harder to throw it in the gully. Yeah. But it's amazing, even now, we advertise in all the industry magazines, macadamia, and still today, people come here, well, I didn't even know you were there. So, yeah, yeah who knows? <laughs> Well, it's brilliant. Well, thank you very much for your time today, mm. and I wish you all the best with this uh, company, Wurrumbee Milling. I think it's an excellent opportunity. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. That was a bit quick and easy. <laughs>